I take my third MCAT on June 5th. Um, I'm actually feeling a lot better about this one. Um, so I guess I'm going to explain why this is my third MCAT, why I'm still trying um, this far into the game. Uh, yeah, so um, in the spring of my junior year, I plan to take the exam that May, and um, what ended up happening was I didn't really get a chance to study that much during the semester with school and um, extracurriculars, and so I didn't really have a chance to do that. And I was feeling really overwhelmed, and after school ended, I um, stayed on campus and I um, was by myself and I was trying to study. Um, to take this test at the end of May, and two weeks before the exam, I realized, I took practice tests, I realized there was no way I was going to be ready in two weeks, and I know myself, and um, if I'm not ready for an exam, if I say I'm not ready, I will do badly. Um, so, um, I uh, knew I needed to push it back. Uh, what happened was, when I went to push it back, there were not any space is open in my home state of Indiana, so I had to go to a different state. I had to go to West Virginia to take the exam, which was uh, really um, quite stressful, actually. So basically, at the end of May, um, my stay at my apartment here on campus and um, ended. So in the beginning of June of last summer, I went back to my parents' house, and I um, stayed and I studied there. Um, I think I studied, um, but the problem was, I think, through my undergraduate career, I realized um, in certain classes I had really not intuitively learned a lot of the material, and so here I was intuitively learning it for the first time when it really should be review, and, and I can't say I hated um, spending so much time learning science and reading um, the verbal reasoning um, passages because I think I learned a lot and it was fairly um, enjoyable but it was also really stressful because I knew that if I didn't um, get my score up and, and do better on practice questions that like this exam could really define me getting into medical school so that really scared me because um, I'm starting to realize that, like, I really, um, my GPA is not really a, a good representation of my intelligence. So I began to really question my intelligence, actually. And I think um, what ended up happening was um, my confidence was just very, very low, um, I think, uh, and uh, I knew it was my fault that my GPA, that I had to save it with this MCAT test. That's no excuse. If you're pre-med and you're watching this, um, don't do what I did. Um, work hard in school and make sure you're putting um, an adequate amount of effort into school because those grades are really going to matter at the end. And so basically, um, at the time I took my MCAT July 2nd, me and my dad drove to Charleston, West Virginia, and um, I took the exam there. Um, I was not ready. I don't think anything could have prepared me better. Um, it was it was completely a mental thing. I think um, I probably had was I, my anxiety was was horrible. Um, I remember shaking. Um, while taking the last portion of the exam. I remember looking at um, general chemistry questions and just blanking. It was it was the worst. So I knew um, I became like pretty, um, I was in a pretty bad spot, I think, after I took that test because from there and then it takes 30 days for you to get your score back. And, and in that time, I was pretty, um, I was pretty nervous and I knew that uh, when I got that score back, I would have to um, withdraw my application or decide what to do, and it might mean um, it might mean me not going to medical school the next year, which was really scary. Um, 
And when I did get my score back in August, right before the school year, and it was bad, um, I'll, I'll just say that I got a 26. Um, and it was not what I needed it to be. And uh, I was I was really upset. And I knew at that point that I needed a year off and that I was not ready for medical school. And I knew that I needed that time. So um, what ended up happening was a lot of my friends and family still wanted me to apply. So I went ahead and, and kept going with the application, but I didn't really finish filling out a lot of my secondaries. And um, the schools I did apply to sent me pretty, pretty quick rejection letters. And I already saw that coming. Um, so I was, uh, I had, uh, signed up for another MCAT in March of this year, March of 2014, um, during my spring break. And I, th um, so I spent a good portion of my senior year, um, trying to study for it. And, um, okay, what it came down to was I didn't expect senior year of being chemistry major to be so time consuming, especially the second semester. And um, that, along with my extracurricular obligations, um, it really, uh, and, and really um, my just, I was in that spot and I was having anxiety still. Um, it really just wasn't going to pan out. The week after spring break, I had a lot of stuff to do. So I realized about a week before, I was like, what am I going to do? I'm not ready for this test. And I decided at that point that um, what I needed to do for myself um, was go in there and take it and void the exam. I needed to sit down and, and go through the test and be in the test environment and, and just take it. So I went into that exam knowing I was going to avoid it. And I think um, it really helped me a lot personally, I think, with being comfortable with the exam and realizing that it is just a test. And um, so since then, like, I've continued to study and um, now I'm taking the exam in like a few weeks here. And, you know, I don't know if it's going to go wonderful or if it's going to go just okay, but I know that it will go better, and I think that um, that's what's really important to me, and, you know, I, I really, like, I don't know what's going to come out of this next year, but um, that's my story. I'm